Hey guys, it's Lori. I am running so far behind this morning. I am about 40 minutes later than I should be. I got my weeks mixed up and I totally forgot about a job that I had this morning. I was thinking it's next week. I don't know what made me think of it last minute. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I have a job this morning. I think I'm supposed to be there like right now. <laughs> and sure enough, and here I was running around, bumming around in my working around the house clothes on and my hair looking all crazy and just oh my goodness so off i go to my first job i texted her and she's like don't worry about it it's fine see you when you get here thank goodness and i'm really glad i remembered it when i did i didn't want i wouldn't want her to have to text me and say where are you are you coming today and hi Guy right there uh that's a guy from town that just uh cut off the lock from the storage unit last night for me because i lost my key then chase lost his key so we couldn't get into it anyway he cut the lock off for me last night and i put on a different one and the one i put on was one of the two locks that are on the back of our storage trailer that we have behind our garage so the storage unit it's actually all three of my boys have their stuff in storage in that same unit so that's what that's for. Brendan has a big duffel bag full of all of his pants and he accidentally put that in the storage unit. So he needed that <laughs> and we couldn't get to it because we couldn't, we couldn't get it unlocked. But anyway, one of the stops I'm going to be making today is going to be Walmart and in that hall, there's going to be a padlock. So spoiler, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I do have a Walmart pickup haul. Don't even really remember what's in it besides that padlock and I think there's some snacky snacky stuff in there for the boys. Now that I'm running late, I'm just kind of like, my mind's kind of all over the place. So I'm just gonna stop here and I'll get back with you in a little bit. Oh yeah, I should probably mention all the stuff in the back. If you didn't see yesterday's video, this stuff's all going to the Salvation Army and there's a bunch, a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, if you wanna know more about all the stuff back here, check out yesterday's video. All right, see you in a bit. All right, we are done with this job and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't anything extra to do, so that was a good thing. I got done in pretty good time, so I'm doing fine for the rest of my day. I'm still gonna be on schedule. And now I'm just off to my second job, then we'll go to Walmart and see what I'm getting there. And then we're gonna go to Sally Ann's Boutique, Salvation Army. <laughs> this is like Groundhog Day, right? Same day, over and over and over. <laughs> and job number two is done. Ooh, I am burning up. Just as I was leaving, this lady came and she says, hi, I'm grandma. She's here waiting for the kids to get off the school bus. Um, I think this is their first day of school here. I said, you have to be her mom because, oh my gosh. And she says, I know. She looks just like me, doesn't she? Oh my gosh, you guys, identical. It was, it was amazing. Anyways, enough of that rambling. I just checked in at Walmart, so let's head there now. When I checked in at Walmart, I accidentally said, um, click the thing that says I parked so they probably think I'm already there but then again they track my location so who knows okay now I told them which spot I'm in so now they know I really did park oh my Brendan was doing some door dashing he hasn't done it in a while but he had a Walmart order to pick up so he came here to pick it up and he couldn't find the pickup area because they moved it. I couldn't find it the first time I came here after they moved it either. I was seriously driving all over the parking lot and they actually called me and said, hey, it says you're in the parking lot. The tracking information says you're in the parking lot, but we don't see you anywhere. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm trying to find you. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he wasn't too happy because he wanted to be punctual with this order and he couldn't find the pickup area. So I'm like, yep, I get it. I know what you mean. I just remembered I have all this stuff in the back seat. I have to go make room in the back end. Oh my gosh. She came out just as I was trying to make room for her to put the groceries back there. So I just opened up the passenger door and we put them in here. Oh my. So I couldn't remember, honestly, I couldn't remember if I had anything that needed to be refrigerated or what, cause it's really hot in the back end of this truck. So, um, I guess I'll just go home and show you what I got. It's not much, but I'll just do it at home. It'll be a lot easier. Next stop, Sally Ann's. Okay, everything's dropped off. And now that 
back seats all empty to put all my Costco stuff in for tomorrow. So that will be coming up too. All right, so I decided to stop at Dollar Tree and I really just went in there to get a, a planner and some toothpaste, but I ended up spending 30 some odd dollars. So I guess I'll show you what I got there too. I haven't been nearly as excited to go into Dollar Tree these days since the prices went up. I know it's only 25 cents, but that 25 cents adds up really quick. And with all this decluttering I'm doing, it's like, I am not going anywhere near a Dollar Tree right now, you know? So anyway, I'm just trying to get stuff that I'm gonna use right away or, you know, little things like my planner always comes from Dollar Tree. I always get the same kind, couldn't find the one that I wanted. And last time I was in Dollar Tree, I didn't see that kind either. So I got a different one, but I'll just show it to you when we get home. Okay, let's take a look at the Walmart stuff. Cheez-It Crackers, Cheez-It Originals for $3.48, $3.68 for the Cheez-It Duos. I think it's the same size box. Yeah, same size box. I guess these are just a little bit more. Some oatmeal cream pies. This is 12 oatmeal cream pies in there for $2.58. I thought that was pretty decent for little Debbie's. And great value brand toaster pastries instead of Pop-Tarts. $1.78 for 12 Pop-Tarts or toaster pastries. And we got the cookies and cream and the frosted strawberry dollar 50 for these nutty bar type peanut butter bars we got some gogurt four dollars 47 cents and there is 16 gogurts in there the star wars ones the berry bounty and cherry galaxy so hayden does not like strawberry or strawberry banana gogurts so that seems to be the kind that he likes the best we got some of these breakfast sausages $2.76 for the 12-ounce package, and I got two of those. I also grabbed two bananas, 30 cents for these bananas. And last but not least, we got the padlock, $5.47 for the padlock. Here's what I got from Dollar Tree, some snack items, bugles, a couple hot fries, some cheddar fries, a couple bags of Takis, some Sour Patch Kids, three of them, one for each of the boys. Grabs a couple of tubes of this toothpaste that's my favorite toothpaste. And it always says there's 30% more free, so it's a pretty small tube, but <laughs> anyway, okay. A couple of dusters, those are for work. Here is the calendar that I got, just your standard two-year planner. And that works fine for me, so there you go. Grabbed a Star Wars coloring book, coloring and activity book, colortivity. And I think Hayden's really gonna like this. This is for Hayden and Anna likes to color when she's here, and he actually likes to get out a sketch pad and draw sometimes, so I thought this might be something he might like to do. And these napkins, I thought these were just so cool. Look at that. I love these napkins. So there's 24 in there, and I'll probably use some of them for Hayden's lunches and just to have for, you know, something a little bit um, seasonal, I guess. I don't know. But I can see something decoupage with this. I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. Did you see these napkins, honey? Aren't those cool? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if he thinks the napkins are cool, they must be. <laughs> and I grabbed some mechanical pencils. The Papermate brand, there's five of them in here. Um, we got Hayden mechanical pencils for school, and I sent them all to school. Forgot that he might need a couple here for his homework. So anyway, that's what I grabbed these for. And then these little, uh, what are they calling them? Wood stems. I'm keeping them in this bag because they're kind of shedding a little bit. But I wanted some of these before when Dollar Tree had them, never found them, and now I found them. So I grabbed three back, three packages of those, and I grabbed several packs of this mesh tube. This is what I'm going to be using for the football frames that I got, the football wreath frames that I got last time I went to Dollar Tree. Tried it out with some twine, and you can use nautical rope, but it doesn't go all the way down to the end. I just thought this would be easier. So I'm going to try this, and I didn't know how many I'd need, so I'm not sure how many I even got it. They're over there in the bag, but I probably got six or eight of them. There's those, and I grabbed some of this vinyl. So I've heard that the vinyl that has the color at the bottom right here, a little stripe of what the color is, is actually better quality vinyl than the packaging that doesn't have that. So I've been looking for them, and now my Dollar Tree has them. So I'm going to see... If it's better because the Dollar Tree vinyl tends to be really thin, but permanent vinyl for a buck twenty-five, that's a pretty good price. And there's 
12 by 48 inches. So it's not a huge roll, but that's a pretty standard size. So $1.25 is a really good price for that if it works. I only got one of each for now. These not only are Halloween colors, but they're also our school colors. So there's that. And the last thing I got was this cute soap, pump soap. That's a ghost. I thought that was so cute. I already have the little black skull from last year and I just kept it. So I'll refill it or I, I don't know. There might be still some soap in it, to be honest. But coconut lime scented. It usually smells really good. So I thought this was really cute to put out here by the sink for the month of October. Honey, what do you think of the soap? Oh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> you like it too? Yeah, okay. yeah. He likes it. Okay. Huh? No, they didn't have any Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. <laughs>